in terms of number of features, safety, drivability, and warranty, the Hyundai Sonata is the best sedan you can buy in 2020. And considering that the price of a new car right now, according to Kelly Blue Book, is $37,851, this fully loaded Sonata can be had for less than that at about $36,000, making this also one of the best cars for your money. And I'll explain all of those features as I describe my personal likes and dislikes about this 2020 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Limited so that you have a better idea before you go buy one. It's good to note that there are no packages on top of this trim, so what you see here is what you're going to get. I'll first start with the one unique thing about this car, and it's the thing that separates this car from everything else. It's the solar roof. Aside from the Fisker Karma, there are no other production cars in the United States that has this feature. And that car isn't even in production anymore, so this is it. And is that feature practical? No, and I'll explain why later on in this video when I discuss the efficiency. While we're on the exterior, I can't ignore these headlights. They're unique to say the least, I like them, I know some people do not, so please let me know where you stand in the comments below. What's unique here is that they've incorporated LED elements into the chrome trim. The way it's blended is very clever, and I have a feeling that this is something they'll incorporate into a lot of future models. The profile of the Sonata is very attractive. It has a fastback design, and it looks a bit like the Tesla Model S or the Audi A7. This design means more headroom, more trunk space, and also good aerodynamic efficiency. Also note the little bumps or aero fins on top of the trunk. These should reduce the pressure drag from the vehicle, making it more aerodynamic. Let's talk interior next because inside here is why I consider this sedan to be the best sedan you could buy today in 2020. Let's first start with the digital instrument cluster. This is the same design that's found in the all new Hyundai Palisade. And if you wanna see my review of that, please click the link up here. The signature detail here is the way the colors change and explode from one driving mode to the next. It may look a bit tacky, but it's wildly different from other cars. Given the digital nature, you can see lots of information on here. And this being the hybrid, you can find how the car is getting powered, whether it's from the battery or the engine or both. And also how the solar panel is charging the battery. Really neat feature here is the blind spot cameras that turn on when you use your blinkers. Next, let's discuss the infotainment. For the limited trim, you get a 10.25 inch touchscreen, and on the lesser trims, you'll get the eight inch version. I like the way this infotainment's laid out. It's very user friendly, and I like how the images are crisp and the transitions are fast. I also like how the screen's more upright so that you don't get a lot of glare on the screen. And just like any new car should, this also includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Moving on down the center console, you'll find the HVAC controls, and I like how Hyundai has designed it. The temperature control knobs have a built-in display, which makes the interior much more upscale looking and feeling. You'll also find physical buttons and toggles here for the heated and ventilated seats and heated steering wheel. Moving further down, you'll see a button style shifter, something that you'll find on the Hyundai Palisade. This controls the six-speed automatic transmission, and if you want to down or up shift, you could do so using the paddle shifters. Let's discuss the steering wheel while we're at it. I love the new look of Hyundai steering wheels. It mimics what you'll find on the more luxurious Genesis vehicles. This style wheel allows you to hold onto it in many different ways, and they're all very comfortable. And just like all Hyundai vehicles, the music controls are on the left-hand side, and your instrument cluster display buttons and also cruise control settings are on the right hand side. There's also a special button on here. Pressing the steering wheel icon gives the Sonata the ability to steer through gentle curves. Now you have to keep your hands on the wheel of course, but this option makes long highway commutes a breeze. Let's talk safety for a second because there's a ton of sensors in this car. That's the reason why you have this really smart lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, parking sensors, and in addition, there's also blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. And on top of all of that, I also like the small little touches that make this car feel much more like a luxury car. First of all, you get the auto self dimming mirror the rear seats have a sunshade screen, there's a wireless charger, nice ambient lighting, and there's also a 12-speaker Bose sound system. So with all of those features I mentioned, 
the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid is starting to feel like a luxury car. And if I were blindfolded, I'd certainly guess so because the leathers feel pretty good in here and the steering wheel is also nice. The back seats are great too and there's plenty of legroom and headroom as well thanks to that fastback profile. So all of that sounds pretty good. How does it drive? Well, in terms of efficiency, this one is supposed to get up to 51 miles per gallon. If you go for the cheaper trim, the blue trim, that is supposed to get you up to 54 miles per gallon. That has an estimated range of 686 miles. That is just spectacular. In the power department, the Sonata has a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine and a 39 kilowatt electric motor. Combined, it gives you a total of 192 horsepower. That's not much, but that's good enough for general commuting. You won't win any drag races in this car unless it's with another hybrid car. As for that solar panel that's only available in the limited trim, according to Hyundai, that nets you about two miles of charge under a full day of sun. Is it practical? Not really. Let's do some math here. If you get about two miles of sun a day, and assuming that you're living in a place that has no rain or clouds, you'll get about 700 miles a year of charge. Considering the Sonata Hybrid's range, that's just a little over one full tank of gas, which is about 30 or $40. I mean, every mile or dollars and cents matter, but in this case, this solar roof is purely a conversational piece and it's not really going to make any difference in the end. But the nice thing is that solar roof is not a package that you have to pay for. That's included in this $36,000 car. And I'm glad that Hyundai is making a big effort to include something like this in a production car. And hopefully we'll see more of this in the future. In terms of ride and handling, it's great. The ride quality feels very nice and it certainly doesn't feel like a budget car. The suspension layout is a McPherson strut up front and a multi-link rear suspension out back. That's pretty standard for a midsize sedan and it feels just like a Toyota Camry or a Honda Accord. You know, a lot of people like to buy crossovers because they're thinking that maybe I could just get a little bit more utility out of it. They're not wrong, but you can't forget that these sedans are just so much more fun to drive and the Sonata, this is a great handling car for what it is. So overall, do I recommend this car? Well, if you haven't figured out yet by the title of this video, Yes, I fully recommend this car. The amount of features, the amount of technology, and also the convenience is amazing. I haven't even mentioned the best warranty in the industry, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain, and also the complimentary maintenance for the first three years. None of these features are truly groundbreaking, and even the solar panel has been done before. And you could find a lot of these features in other cars, but to see all of these things combined and included within a $36,000 package, is spectacular. This has truly exceeded all of my expectations and if you're shopping for a mid-size sedan, you should definitely include this on your list. Well, there you have it. That's my review of the 2020 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Limited. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you learned something in this video, please consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe, and also hitting that notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we make a new video. I'll wrap it up right there. My name is Hansen. This has been the 2020 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Limited, and I will see you next time.